Hello friends! You remember a year ago I made a 3D printed joystick adapter for your PlayStation controller. With all these snapping connectors and where you had to have a literal shoestring budget to get the triggers to work. Well, now I've made a new version of that. It's uh, more advanced thanks to these things called flexures. These soft springy things. It features a uh, sturdier design, working buttons, look, uh, a centering spring, and no glue required to put it together. Yes, yeah, so I've already made a design like this for the PlayStation 5, but uh, now this is an improved version of that for your PlayStation 4, where I've now, uh, first of all, sturdied up the X flexure here, probably the weakest link in the stick, where you could push it a little bit too far. Well, now I've added these round half circles here that work as stoppers. Critically, they don't touch in normal use, but if you go and put some force on top of that joystick in the heat of battle. Oh, speaking of battle, I think that's a live player. Look, is it? Could it be? I think I'm... This might be my first multiplayer contact in this game. Do you see that? That plane there. Does he know I'm here? He wouldn't be looking back, would he? Now, if I only had guns and... Wait a minute, I have a trigger. I have two triggers. Now, launch missiles. Oh, never mind. Cancel missiles. Let's get alongside him. Does he see me? Hello. <laughs> Look. Oh, he's got a passenger on board as well. Whoa, watch out! Alright, I'm gonna keep on following this guy and uh, let me read the rest of my script to you. So yes, the design now goes together with screws. You no longer have to use any glue. Uh, I had a few spots where you had to use glue previously, but now it's uh, screwed together, which is great because, uh, well, I don't think these flexures will wear out as fast as you think they might. It. But if you do find one part of the whole mechanism wearing out, you can now swap it out because you can take everything apart again with screws and there's a few spots where you use uh, just little bits of filament. There's a little hole where you stick uh, that filament down and it holds down uh, the part in question. flying into the sun. Classic camouflage technique. No. I have the upper ground. In fact, I have the upper air. Yes, so this parallel flexure for the XY carriage is a bit more smarter now too. So this bit is the XY carriage. It's what carries the X and Y motion from here to here. The X flexures down here, they are on a lower level than the the Y way. The X, the okay. One of them is lower and one of them is higher uh, on top of each other, which means the design is a bit more compact and works a little bit nicer than before. Oh, one more improvement. It's a mounting solution. It's called a curved stick. What you do is you get two of these, place them there, and now you have a solid connection to their table. Not bad. Hmm. Well, I won't be able to catch up with it anyway. It's time, Dr. Takasu. Let me see your smile. Yes. To dive from here. I'm not sure if you're supposed to dive in a helicopter. Yes, 
高須クリニック高須クリニック Yes, so a helicopter you got similar controls to an airplane, but to confuse you, they name them differently. So aileron and elevator are collectively called the cyclic, and the throttle is cyclically called the collective. And you got these anti torque rudder pedals. Oh, notice that you can also push on start and select with these uh, little flexure tabs here. So you have access to almost every button. Is there a helipad we can land on? This design, it's hard to believe it actually started a year ago with that rickety shoestring budget design. Over the following year I studied a lot about these uh, flexure designs which I found to be a great match for 3D printing. The basis for this design was actually made during the Olympics. You can see me here uh, at the backstage of the Olympics uh, using my free time to design this. Yeah, that's right, I was one of the pilots for the drones, you can see me here. So you can see with the uh, new improved flexures, uh, it's quite sturdy, so you can really abuse it because uh, the flexures themselves never take the full load, especially not in like a shear mode, it's always pulling on those filaments. So you can... <laughs> uh, see, it's fine. It I think now the weakest link in the whole mechanism would be these linkages that connect the nose crosses, deltas and boxes to these face buttons. But I have made these linkages a little bit thicker as well, so they'll be a bit sturdier than before. And these updates are also carried over to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox controller designs, so you can check back on those if you've downloaded one of those as well. It's printed in PLA plastic, uh, particularly PLA plus. Only thing I would not recommend is some of the specialty filaments that focus on the surface finish, like uh, matte PLA, which I do love. I've used it for the sticks, but I don't recommend it for the flexures because it doesn't have the same sort of springiness to it. But it does look really nice. Can you see the matte finish there? So I think it's a pretty good design. You can try and print one for your PlayStation controller and go play your favorite flight game or whatever game with two sticks. Or, for that matter, you can take one of the sticks off and now you have a single stick controller where you can still push on the buttons on your other hand like this. So if you're a pro gamer, why don't you try it out? Uh, speaking of pros, uh, let me admit to a few of the cons of this design. Uh, well, first of all, uh, you don't get to push on the R3, L3 buttons, I believe. Next, uh, well, it's only as accurate as your game controller stick will ever be. So I found that the DualShock 4 sticks can get a little bit jittery and gunky. Is it called stick drift? Where, see there, I can find a sweet spot where the stick starts jittering around. But, as you can see, I think it's pretty accurate on mine. This will show you a real-time window of how the uh, game is seeing your controller. And I would say that's pretty fast. There's no lag, of course, it's wireless. It's the speed of light, radio wave. Another con, uh, the triggers, they feel really good. So you can pull on the trigger, you can pull halfway, and you can push up for the shoulder buttons. Now for the face buttons, the knots, crosses, deltas and boxes, it's not always as nice because these, the buttons here, they aren't pushing back on the linkages to get back to neutral. So you can see that this circle button works fine. It goes back to neutral, but uh, sometimes with the triangle one, you have to kind of manually nudge it, nudge it back to, to center. 
I still think it's pretty cool that I've managed to uh, control the face buttons at all with only mechanical linkages, wouldn't you think so? So what do you think about my design? If you think it's nice, then uh, push that like button or comment or go and download it. Uh, if you want the full version with all the functionality, well, you're gonna have to pay for it. Please go and find the files, uh, print one for yourself, uh, try it with your game controller and tell me what you think. In any case, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.